2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game 3 of the NBA Finals. The Chicago Bulls have showed up hungry and determined to fight for what they believe is rightfully theirs. Will they be able to break the stalemate and come out on top against the Golden State Warriors? The NBA postseason, coming up next. And it's the start here of Game 3 of the NBA Finals. 2K Sports postseason presentation of the NBA, and it's tied 1-1. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Edwards, this is Kevin Hart. We'll see the Golden State Warriors and the Chicago Bulls. You take a look at Chicago. And so as we get set to watch Chicago here, guys, what are your thoughts? Yeah, they, they've managed to tip the balance of the series their way, no doubt about it. Splitting those first two on the road was an advantage, but it's still up in the air. A win tonight would go a long way towards cementing their future as an NBA champion. Now, here's Lopez. Down to five on the shot clock. Lance, no good. Now, Golden State starting five. Durant and Draymond Green, talented forward duo. The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. And it's Pachulia in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Smith with it, guarded now by Durant. Nance, that's tipped. That's great anticipation by Pachulia using his length to turn that shot away. And nicely done, running the floor well, then attacking the rim. Now the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. Now here is Smith, kicks it to Nance. for a minute gone here in the first quarter. To the paint. And he dumps it right down on Pachulia. Oh, brother. Oh, he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another unleashed chaos moment. Levine against Thompson. Pass to Durant. It's tipped. And Nance gets to Smith. Back to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Curry. He kicks it to Pachulia. Here's the pass to Green. Durant in the corner. Good. And Green picking up the assist. Durant's got five. Remarkable shooter at his size. With that smooth release, Durant makes it look like a simple drop in the bucket. Smith gets to down. In the corner, it's Levine. Lopez a screen. Passes it to Dunn. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And the shot goes down. Lopez has got his first two points. And Dunn is fantastic at moving the ball around, finding their teammates with ease. Feeds to Thompson. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Golden State moving the ball around. Green with a screen for Thompson. The dish to Kirk. And the three off target. And extending the knee there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. I think coaches right here are always talking about the extra pass. And a contested three is not your objective. One more, maybe. Levine kicks to Nance. Nice effort from Draymond. Great position there to contest. The feed to Dunn. Inside. And the Nance slams it in. Ooh, that's an old-fashioned rim rattle. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Outside Curry. Hit by Pachulia. Curry kicks to Thompson. There's the screen. Back to Curry. Takes a three. Curry with another miss. Chicago leading. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Oldham. Well, I do get a chance.
chance to speak with Steve Kerr a little bit. We talked about how the first two games were split and how they no longer have home court advantage. He said it was important for his team to get off to a quick start tonight. He said, I'm not as worried about home court advantage as I am about playing good basketball. Passion, execution, and efficiency. I want to see that from my eyes right in the opening tip. We will see if he gets what he wants, Kevin, but after you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Livingston. Here's the three, and there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Livingston. Because Steph moves so well, anytime he can get some separation, he starts to feel once he gets the ball, he's going to find some points. Here's Portis inside, pass to Markinen. And he can't answer back the three pointer offline. Here's Durant. Comes up empty down low. You got to make that. The defense was far from terrible, but man, that's an easy shot. Pass to Portis. Durant with the rebound. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. And there's a foul. It will go on Jerry Grant. That is his first foul of the game. Valley's checked in for the Warriors. There's 126 left here in the first quarter. Back to Curry, and they call an illegal screen here. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Second, Stephen Curry. And he's taken off on a tremendous story streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. And how about these hops there by Markin? And he knows not many guys can block that shot. Good at getting that deep post position. Stolen by Levine. Over Livingston. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Levine's got his first points of the night. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Uh, tremendous focus with the bigger guy all over him. It speaks to the toughness he has down there. Here's Livingston. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. So hard for guards to contest Sean Livingston on shots like that. Holiday is screen on Iguodala. And then gets to Holland. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw good from Holiday. No free throws good from Holiday. Encouraging sign there to see him knock down the free throw. Warriors trail by four. Outside Curry. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And the Warriors with possession here. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Second, separating the shot clock and game. There's the pick. Grant with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. In the corner, it's Levine. Six on the shot clock. Back to Portis. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. And so it's Chicago with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, told us about his comfort stretching the floor. You know, we're five, six feet outside that three-point line. If I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, you know, I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. I mean, he is just an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, 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 I don't think there's argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter.
shooter ever. And, and, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this last brother to let her in. <laughs> and we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? And I, I felt like in that first period, the difference really was their ability to execute offensively. Yeah, so you move the ball around, you move your guys around, and you find good shots. That's a, that's a healthy recipe to build a good lead. So on the floor for Golden State to begin the second quarter, Javel McGee is out there with Dallas. Then it's Curry. And there's a good out. And Livingston in a two guard. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound by the Bulls. They lost their last game on Tuesday. You know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way they battled in it. Yeah, that one sticks with you for a little while. They worked so hard to hang in there at the end of that one and force the OT and then to have it slip away had to hurt. When we talk so much about accurate shooting, sometimes accurate passing can lead to great shooting. You saw it there. Well, this is the McGee. Livingston kicks to it up. And it's good, assisting on the play with Livingston. Iguodala has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Checked in for Bobby Ports. Lance comes in for Markinen. J.R. Smith's checked in for Levine. And it's done in for Grant. Then for the Warriors, Pachulia. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. Green comes in for Bell. And stops it in for Steph Curry. Now, here's Dunn. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Nance sets a screen for Dunn. Lopez hits to Smith. And the dunk by Smith. The athleticism J.R. Smith showed in the early part of his career was impressive, and so was that play. This is a degree. And count it, and a chance for one more at the free throw line. Not sure you can ask for a better look. He can make those shots while sleeping. And the Warriors making a change here. Durant's checked in. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the evening. And Draymond Green just embraces and loves competition. His competitiveness is off the charts, and that's something his teammates feed off on a nightly basis. Now, here's Dunn on the wing dance. Outside Holiday, over to the wing. That's good from Dunn on the assist by Holiday. Dunn's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Livingston kicks to Thompson. He dishes it to Durant. A baseline J. Rebound by the Bulls. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Smith, the best to Dunn. Now here's Nance. He has six. That's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. He feeds it to Dunn. And Ants. And he dumps it right down on Pajulia. Oh, brother. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. There's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Tough to contest that one. Draymond went right up into a one-piece shooting motion. A drive by Thompson, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. A yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Stephen Curry's checked in for Sean Livingston. And Clay is such a great two-way player, a tremendous shooter. A good job playing perimeter guys, both point guards and two guards for his position. Curry with it. All guarded by Dunn, and Thompson gets it to go. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Dunn. 
to the middle. I'll just hit. And the pass to Ames. Back to Smith. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Bulls lead by four. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Outside curve. Another three for Golden State. And a D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here is Smith. Over to the left wing. Lopez a screen. Nance dishes to Smith. Here's Dunn. And a miss there on the triple. And it's the Warriors ball. They've outscored him 10 points for two during this run. Curry shot his off. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. It's going to be a three-second call. Some changes for Chicago. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Markkanen comes in for Larry Nance. And it's Grant in for Justin Holliday. The Warriors also with a sub. McGee's checked in. Now here's Thompson. Durant kicks to McGee. It's deflected. Smith outside. Grant outside. Kicks to Markkanen. Smith outside. Offline with this three. Golden State's run three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And that one's good. Durant. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And here is Dunn over in the corner. Portis. To the paint. Here's Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Not gonna go that time. And we're through the first half of basketball here, and what's been a good one? It's Chicago up by one. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you for joining us live inside this sold-out arena. We are rocking and rolling. Looking at the Bulls, they want nothing more than to seize the momentum of this championship series tied 1-1. They gave it their all in the first half, but this looks like a battle that could go down to the final seconds. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well. They're putting bodies on people. If you just look at the rebounding numbers, you can tell that they've been putting their body on and being more physical than the other team. Now that fact looms large on both sides, and that's going to be the difference in the second half. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that wraps up the halftime ship. Welcome back to the hustle and bustle of Chicago. A time-lapse view of all the traffic heading toward downtown. The Warriors trail. Don and Levine, they're back to it. Larry Nance out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Smith in at the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Curry, good! Just effortless shot making from Steph Curry. Long range, difficult shots. Oh, they look so easy. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Levine. Man's a screen. Five to shoot. Down low. Here's Lopez. 
and no good as it rattles out. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed to do that one. And the wide open shot from Green. No good from outside. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Smith, the pass to Lopez. He kicks to Dunn. Nance sets the screen for Dunn. To the inside, Julia with the steal. That's tipped. Nance outside. Levine dishes to Nance. Smith against Durant. Nance the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Levine kicks to Nance. with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Excellent work by the talented people in our production truck as well. And Durant gets it to go. Well, we know about the size, but it's about his touch. You let Kevin Durant get any space inside and you can count it. Dunn picks the Smith. This is it to Dunn. Pachulia against Lopez. Lopez a screen. Feeds it to Dunn. Takes the three. And there's the call on Pachulia. That's his first foul. And the Bulls making a change here. Holiday's checked in. Golden State also making some changes. Now he's checked in for Draymond Green. And it's Iguodala in for Durant. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Second, Robin Lopez. Now we mark it in third. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. The dish doing it out. The shot comes out with D by Holiday. Done with it, and Steph Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Sharon Grant, he's checked in for the Bulls. Now here is Holiday. Lopez gets to Holiday, and there it is for him. Holiday's got six. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Curry has to bet. There's the three. Curry can't get it to go. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. So the wing on the left. Nance outside. The feed to Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. And guys, this game won't be close to long if they keep giving up dunks. Like that. No, it won't, G.A., you're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. Well, we talk about the D. Let's credit the offense. He attacked right there from the moment he saw the opening, not letting the defense react. And usually that mid-range jumper finds the bottom of the net. The defense has to be more aggressive moving forward. Nance sets a screen for Grant. Six to shoot. Here's Nance and the jam by Larry Nance. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Thompson. Land soft on the bundle and the drops. Thompson's got his second bucket. Ray Thompson becoming better and better at scoring down there on the inside. Chicago calls timeout.
comes in for Robin Lopez. And it's Markinen in for Nance. The Warriors also with a sub. JaVale McGee's check in for Pachulli. Grant outside. 125 left to play in the third. On the wing, Levine. He's covered by Thompson. Holiday inside the line. Misses off the left eye. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. For Chicago, they've gone 4 7 to get things started here in the second half. Got it. Nice one there from the Dean. Mindset right now is pretty strong. Superb at staying aggressive and right now stringing some plays together. Tipped away. Holiday, this is the Grant. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And now a six point Bulls lead. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. And a wide open look for Igudala. Hands it from downtown. Igudala has got his second basket of the night. And the arc Igudala has on his three point shots, almost like he's drawing rain from time to time. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Grant, just five to shoot. Markkinen, and Markkinen throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And here's Thompson. They set the pick. Target with that shot. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Bulls lead by five. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. We get a couple stops, we get a couple runouts, we get into our flow. All right? Keep the ball moving, keep the intensity. Steve Kerr asking his guys just to keep up the pace, playing selfishly, basically be yourself, stay, uh, guys, stay in character. Yeah, I mean, he knows what this team is capable of, just looking for a couple of plays to really kind of kickstart that engine and, and give them that little sustainable groove. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. All right now, a chance to set the floor, courtesy of Peterman. Fourth quarter action, up, field up, and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Lethal shooting pair of Clay and KD out on the perimeter. JaVale McGee is out there with Green, and it's Curry in at the one. Warriors trail by nine. A three. Knocks down the three ball. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Dunn kicks to Portis. That's the Dunn. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Thompson from long range. Rebound by the Bulls. Markkinen's got three rebounds now in this one. Dunn passes to Levine. Now here's Markkinen. Covered by Green. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And you gotta like the vision for marketing. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Curry on the wing. It's deflected. First free throw is good. It doesn't get talked about enough, but Steph Curry is a quiet, confident leader for this basketball club. He doesn't do it with a lot of flair, but he certainly does love the game. Dunn kicks to Levine. Pass to Dunn, back to Levine. Here's Portis. Smith with a screen on Durant. Here's Dunn, sinks the triple. And the Bulls lead by nine. And really, Dunn is sensational. I read the defense off the screen. He knows exactly 
anywhere to be after the pick is set. And there's the pass to Ports. McKee with the block. Durant against Smith. Launches it. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Durant. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Yeah, no question. It looks like they've rented out room along the perimeter in this fall game. And they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. He's been a little bit disappointing in this game. However, his team has his back. They need a little bit more help from him. And J.R. Smith with the sign. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs a good offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bulls. Pachulia, he's checked in for the Warriors. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told his team to keep looking for those perimeter shots. He said their defense is not respecting us, so let's keep shooting until they come out on us, guys. Now, Markinen. Back to Lopez. And he uses the glass on the way. How many times have we seen a possession to take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty high. Stolen by Levine. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. And the dunk by Lopez. And that's what you want in transition. A high percentage opportunity. The story is true, and here the defense does a very poor job of matching up. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Hit by Pachulia. Thompson against Levine. Outside Durant, from past the arc. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds in this game. Levine, the Warriors, pull it in. You know what, his finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. And he comes up with the deuce. I like when Draymond Green takes off from the free throw line and gets an angle on the board. That's tough to box out. Thompson against Levine. Arkanen kicks to Lopez. Dunn dishes to Lopez. And then passes to Lopez. Machulia with the steal. Thompson outside. And here's Green outside. It's not going to go for him. And the ball is going the other way. Now. 1.25 left in the fourth quarter. On the dunk by Lopez. And he just elevates and powers in the one hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Warriors trail by 10. Hit by Pachulia. From 13, Thompson with the bucket. Yeah, uh, defense, um, this is your coach calling. Can you find Clay Thompson? Thank you. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're ahead by 8. 110 left here in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Chris Dunn. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim. And put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Nancy's checked in for Markinen. Lock at six. Levine doesn't go for him. Good D by Thompson. Shoots the three. It falls! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And that's why this team loves having Clay Thompson. Big shot. And that's an intentional foul. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the final quarter. In the corner, it's Levine. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Thompson comes with the double team. 
trying to shoot. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Golden State. Clock's ticking, they gotta get up a shot. Yeah, and then you have to foul right away on the inbounds, maybe the first person who touches the ball. Screams it from downtown! Oh man, the baby-faced assassin stepping up right there. Such a great score, and what a situation for Steph to get it done. Thompson, yes! And, and Kevin maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct straight to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. Well, the other part is just reading the crucial moment. That's a clutch move right there. It could change the outcome of the game. Done. Wide open. He fires. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, if you love great competition and neck and neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. And it's the Warriors to start out. And away we go here with post regulation basketball. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond. The three and the four. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backfield. And it's Pachulia in at the center position. Six to shoot. Smith kicks to open. Pachulia with the steal. Thompson outside to take the lead. The basket good off the assist from Durant. 16 points for Clay Thompson. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Now, here's Dunn, guarded by Kirk. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And Dunn does a little bit of everything out there. Scores the ball, distributes it well, and also pounds the glass aggressively. He hits the second from the line. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Knocks it loose. Outside curve. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Well, time and score, you just can't have a costly error right now at this point in the game, guys. It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. Dunn kicks to Levine. And at the top of the key, Lopez. To the middle, here's Nance. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Petulia. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And it's Smith penetrating. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And he really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. The Warriors lead it. Thompson with it. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Overtime and full swing here, two minutes off the clock. Lopez is screen on top. Time to shoot. Levine hits the net. And Petrulia pulls it down. Well, you can tell right there he just wanted to go for the gym, but the defense too good and distracting. Now oh, that is the play of the game. Nothing more rewarding than hitting the big shot for your team. Hands the screen on Kirk. Now, here's Dunn. Smith outside. Lopez passes to Smith. And that one comes up a bit short. And so they choose to intentionally foul. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. Parkin, and he's checked in for Larry Nance. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. 
and he just garnered a little bit more insurance there. Very confident as he did to go up and knock those down. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 23 seconds left in the first overtime. What do you think, guys? And they still got a little time to play with, so a three and a quick foul could make things interesting. Definitely. Everything has to happen perfectly just to give them a chance. J.R. Smith has some big-time guts, and that's a big-time shot. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. There's 18 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Lopez a screen. Done. Thompson with the rebound. And that's an intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. So we see the Warriors get the win here.